Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from any part of the world. This is Tony H.P., and welcome to part number three of my series called Autism Asperger's Success. And so I would like to thank you all for being here today. So uh, in the first two videos, um, you know, if you, this is the first time you're watching me on YouTube, uh, you know, I'm a person with, you know, with, Alsper, you know, with Asperger's, um, an adult with Asperger's, and I'm here to do to do videos and help people, you know, especially with people with disabilities, to be successful in life, finding ways to be so we can overcome the challenges that we currently face and become better every day. So the first two videos, on the first video, I talk about the employment situation with people with autism and Asperger's in the marketplace, the challenges that they face. You know, they have a ninety percent unemployment. Uh, they are not getting real jobs because there's this misconception out there in a marketplace in which um, there can be a liability to you know to your company. So we talk about that. Then the second video we talk about what are the first steps that we can take towards helping. You know, whether you have a child, whether you have a teenage son or daughter with autism Asperger's, whether you have an adult son or daughter with autism and Asperger's. To help them you know, find their strong and weakest points, do it like an SW analysis. You're in your strengths and weaknesses, so that way we can see what are the strongest areas, and see where are they good at, where they're not good at. So that way we can know where they are right now. So I, I talk about that as being one of the first steps that we can take to help our you know our people with autism and Asperger to be successful in life. So today. I'm going to talk about uh, life skills. I'm going to talk about getting, you know, learning more about your child, learning more about your teenage son or daughter, more about your adult son and daughter with autism. So that way we can know how we can really help them to be successful. So that way they can, you know, be more independent and they can be successful and have a tremendous and great life, no matter the disability. So after you have done your SW analysis, you know, one thing that I suggest is to do an interest, you know, test, you know, hobby test. See what they like, if they like to um, do drawings, uh, extra, you know, if they like to even play video games, you know, playing computer, reading books, watching videos. You know, as ridiculous as may sound, but in reality, you need to write down, you know, anything that you like to do. I mean, what do they love to do? And what are what are even you, you know, if you're watching me, you have autism and Asperger's. I will I will also suggest for you to do the same thing. You know, what is it that you like to do? You know, write it down on the list. So that way, you can then we can go to the next steps as towards helping you, uh, helping you know, or, or if I'm talking to parents, you know, families helping your child with autism and Asperger's to be successful. So those are will be a, another great, you know great step to take, to so that way you we can know more about you, more about your you know your child your child with autism and Asperger's. So and the reason I'm talking about this, in terms of life skills and all that, is because there's this misconception you know there, the conception out there right now in our society is that. People with autism and Asperger's cannot take care of themselves. They need to be dependent on family and you know family and friends for the rest of their lives. That they cannot get jobs. They have a liability. They struggle. We need to feel sympathy for them. And I truly believe that that's that's a tremendous big mis misconception out there in our society. Because first of all, you know we a question that you know that you have you know especially parents have. In their mind every day is what's going to happen to their child with autism and Asperger and any other disability when they're gone. You know that's a you know that's a, a, a horrified question that we have to face. You know whether you have a child with autism or whether yourself, if yourself is you know you have autism and Asperger or any other disability, you know what's going to happen to you. You know as I said I mentioned that I read the article this article a couple of weeks ago talk about. You know, a mother, 80 years old, taking care of her daughter, 43, because of her disability. You know, that's very terrifying. You know, 
And the pro the worst part of 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 it all is that this is not really talkable because show you know the focus is the children and rightfully so we need to teach our children for the beginning so that way they can learn the skills and they can become more independent they can have a great successful life but the adults that never had that opportunity to learn to be successful in life they struggle and we don't we barely don't hear anything about them which is sad because there's struggles out there there's people you know you watching you know you know you have a disability and you feel like you're being silenced that nobody's helping you that you feel uh, you know lost you know, talking to you, you know, is sad, and I'm there. I'm, I'm with you because I, I face the same thing. You know, even though I have improved in my life, I still struggle with my disability, with the challenges that I have. But we need to find a way. My goal and my purpose with these videos, with this channel, is to find a way to help you. If you're a family, to help for you, to help your child. To learn the crucial skills necessary. Do whatever it takes. Learn and improve every single day. To be successful in life. That's all I want. To you know, to help you. As I said, I may not have all the answers. Uh, sometimes I struggle. It may not be very clear. If anything, just let me know if I'm not being clear. But my purpose with these videos is to really help you out to be successful. And to have a much better quality of life. Because I believe that we have a great gift. All of us. All the people with autism and Asperger's. With any other disabilities. We have our greatest asset. This is why we, who we are. It is you. You are the, your greatest asset. You have a per, you have disability. You have autism. You have an Asperger's. Be proud of it. You know, I'm, not, you know, I'm saying this is who I am. And I'm here to contribute. So... As I said, going back uh, as the you know the steps that can be taken towards helping your child or helping yourself to be successful in life, then do the SW analysis, career, interests, hobbies, you know what they're interested in, so that way we can know and we can uh, help them do the training towards learning the crucial skills necessary, whether they want to work for somebody else, to be employed, to have a great career, go back to school, or they want to start their own business, help them learn you know you know not only accomplish career business goals but also life goals relationship goals health goals financial goals well i'm talking about life skills help them learn the life skills so that way they can become more independent and they can be very successful and they can be happy in their lives so well first these are the steps that we take you know as i said sw, anal SW analysis hobbies career what they're interested in you know i also another thing that i suggest for you to do, and this is very important that I'm what, I'm going, what I'm going to say, if you're a parent or any other member of a family and you have a loved one with autism, Asperger, or any other disability, I will help them write a list, a statement list, you know, not a list, but a purpose statement. I know I think if any, I don't know if any of you have heard uh, from the law of success or think and grow rich about definite shift aim. You know, what you want in your life and how you're going to accomplish it. So, uh, my advice would be to write down what is it that you want. You know, to, you know what what do you want you know your shout to be to accomplish in life, and then like in the second paragraph, write down how you can accomplish that, how you're going to help your shout to be successful, and then if you you know if you're a person with autism and Asperger's, whether you're a shout. Whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult with autism or Asperger's, write down a perf uh, purpose statement, two paragraphs. First paragraph, what is it that you want? You know, have that creativity. Don't be limited by what you have seen, what you have lived through, you know, you have lived through to life. What is it that you want? And write it down in the second paragraph, what is it, how, how are you going to accomplish it? You know, think about what I'm, what I'm trying to do is to expand your creativity. Go beyond what everybody is telling you and find a way and see what it is that you want to do. As I said, no, I know that you know there's high and low functioning, so that way, if you're a person that have autism and you can, you know, understand, you know, you know, I'm saying this to find a way where your you know, children has trouble, any other, you know, challenge you with writing or any other thing, you help them, you help them and write down this purpose statement so that way you can help them. Or if you, you know, you're a person with autism and you're in a 
able to do is then do it. But find a way to write a purpose statement saying what you said that you want to accomplish in life and how you're going to accomplish it. And work together because you're not going to, you know, you cannot do this alone. You know, family, you need to work together with your child. Use all the resources necessary so you can help your child become more independent. And talking to you, if you have a, the, the autism with, and Asperger's, I need you to, you know, get people, find ways to help, you know, get the help of others. So that way they can really help you and learn the crucial skills necessary to be successful in life. What I'm trying to be here is, you know, make sure that we are clear is to find, expand your creativity. Finding out what is it that you like to do, what you want to do in your life. You know, expand your horizons. What is it that you want to do? It may sound ridiculous to other people. That's you. This is your life. Find something that you want to do. You know, you want to fly, you know, you want to, you know, ride bicycles or or accomplish, you know, create you know, new video games, whatever it is, expand your horizon. The purpose of this exercise is to expand your creativity, you know, your family, your family, your friends, if you, if, you're, if you have an, a loved one with autism, to expand also your creativity in helping find a way to be more successful in life. So that way you can lead them towards success because one thing that uh, we have to avoid for people to be dependent, you know, for your child to be dependent more on you. Because if not, then the day that you're not there, then what's going to happen with them? We need to teach them independent skills, as, and I believe they are able and they're capable of achieving independent skills, no matter the obstacles, no matter the challenges. So that's another thing that I, I would, you know, advise to do, recommend to do is to do that purpose statement, you know, do a list of goals or things that you want to accomplish and then go from there and start getting to work. So, because, you know, uh, I didn't, I did this very late in my life and I really want to make a difference and I, and my purpose is to help you out so that way your child can have a great life. That's the purpose of, of this video. So, do that as a homework. Uh, write down a purpose statement, or if not, write a list of goals of what you want to accomplish. What do you want to do in life? And then go from there. So as I said, um, write down those goals, and then on the next video, uh, we're going to talk about getting the skills necessary to accomplish your dreams in life. You know, use your, your autism, use your Asperger's, use your disability to be great and to be very significant and make a significant contribution in the entire world so that's going to be in my next video i started talking about life skills and for me this is just starting about skills you want to get what you want to accomplish in life so let's help our children if you have a person with autism Asperger's, start making that list of goals on what you want to accomplish in other words what you want to accomplish in life and on the next video i'm going to talk about more about you know um sorry learning the skills necessary to be successful so into them if you have any questions or any concerns, or anything that you were not, not able to understand. As I said, uh, I tried to do the very best in doing this video. So write down a comment below, um, you know, anything. If you like it, if you didn't like it, whatever. And I will be able to help you as much as I can. So until then, thank you so much for being, you know, for paying attention, for being here today. And and have a great, you know, have a great blessed day. And this is Tony HP. Until next time, I'll see you around. And have a good day. Bye-bye.